And now for our main story on FLLC News. Hello, Wittenberg. I'm Jessica. Have you noticed an increase in energy and pep lately? A certain joy in the world that wasn't there before? This may be because you caught the Japanese. While this language has been around for the better part of 2,000 years, it is believed to be becoming even more virulent and prevalent in day-to-day -day life. The Japanese language has in the past been confined to areas in the Pacific Rim, but now many people all over the world seem to have the Japanese. Now, to our person in the weather, Erica. I'm Erica, usually with weather, but today with the Japanese. Like all second languages, the Japanese carries with it possi the possibilities and potential to improve um, job possibilities with easy to recognize and diagnose symptoms of the language, such as language credit, access to more news sources, increased awareness in the nuances of one's own language, happiness, Madness. And now, to the field? I'm Kyle Wiesner Hanks in the field, and I've got a breaking news report for all of you. What were the once peaceful halls of Widmer are now being swept by an epidemic of proportions greater even than the swine flu? What I'm talking about, of course, is the Japanese. Once normal students content to sit in the room and study math or science, one of those other things, are now taking Japanese courses, using them to expand their horizons. Learn things they never learned before, and all that other nonsense. There are even students interested in economics taking Japanese due to the fact that Japan's economy is the world's second largest. Students interested in robotics, history, art, management. All people of all walks of life are affected by this. Even this poor girl here. She's she's a little odd, but she's probably kind of normal. Okay, you can go, sweetie. Call me later. All right. But however, despite the onset of this terrible terrible disease, there are ways to fight back for America. I met up with a certain anonymous student who shall remain anonymous for her anonymity, for an enemy's sake. Now, tell me, how did you go about catching the Japanese? I, I Were they quick? Well, I feel I was late catching on. I, so late, I was actually sitting in a coffee shop in Tokyo, and I realized it had changed me. <gasps> I was able to speak with the owner of the shop in Japanese. I was reading magazines with kanji. I even felt this strange sense of fulfillment and empowerment. Fulfillment, you say? <laughs> Truly terrible. I thought to myself, why try to broaden my horizon? What's the purpose of trying to see what I'm capable of? I mean, I actually had these weird feelings of wanting to try harder, and I kept on studying. Not the American way at all. No student should have to go through that. What I went through. Why should I feel comfortable outside of my eight to ten foot box at, of my bedroom back home? And that's when I told myself, no, just no. I just couldn't see how the Japanese was affecting my development as a human being. I'm so sorry for your pain. If you want someone to talk to, here's my number. Give me a call later, baby. Oh. 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 <laughs> and now, back to the newsroom. Oh, that Japanese. It's pretty hardcore. What an inspirational story, though. But now, after the break, France. What you don't know might kill you. No! Do 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 do